Hey guys, how's it going? This is Luke here from Next Level Gaming Guides, and this time I want to show you something that's pretty cool that you can do on any skill level, any level character, level 1, level 85, whatever the case may be. I'm talking about fishing in this episode. As you can see, my fishing is only at 1 out of 75. You don't even need any kind of high skill level or anything. You just got to go pick up fishing, and we're going to be fishing in the Dark Moon Fair. And it's an island. They've changed it into an island. You can only do this once a month, well, once one weekend per month. And this is how you do it. And um, you just go in there. And I'm going to show you a bunch of locations. You can get a pet, you can get a mount, you can farm a bunch of gold, um, especially if you're a lower level character. It's a great little spot for farming. You know, you've been leveling all night and you want to make some gold and you're new to a server. This is how you can get um, a decent amount of gold. And I'm going to show you at the very, very end all the totals, all the gold I got, the loot that I got, and all that good stuff. But I'm going to show you um, how to get started and how to actually do this. Now, I'm on my death knight, and I haven't played this guy in forever. You can tell by his really bad gear. The only thing he has good on him is, I guess, the uh, 403 shoulders in PvP. I'm using him for the Path of Frost down there. That way I can run straight on the water, and I can circle this island with no problems whatsoever. So that's going to be great. If you have a character like that that can do that, a shaman, a death knight, um, whatever, then that's, that gives you a little bit of extra advantage. But I'm going to head down there and show you. And here we are down here. This is what you're going to be looting from, the shipwreck debris. Now I'm on my death knight and I got the uh, Zulian tiger mount here, which is really awesome because pretty much the only thing I like about this character is that he has a Zulian tiger mount, which is great. Uh, in Missa Pandaria, you're actually going to be able to have account-wide mounts, and they're, you know the, the mounts are actually going to be BOA now. Um, they're going to combine them all, and you're going to be able to use them on any character, so I can't wait for that. Because my lower level characters, I'm leveling up, I get to sport a Zulian Tiger mount, which is pretty sweet. So all you got to do is just get it inside the shipwreck debris. You can't be on the outsides or anything. And sometimes it takes a little bit, and there we go. We got it right in there. Now you're going to wait for it to bobble. If you don't know this about fishing, um, that's how it works. You just wait for it to bounce up and down, and then you're going to click it. And these are what you're going to get here, these little boxes here. And when you open up these boxes, you're going to get a bunch of different things. You're going to get gold, you're going to get silver, um, you're going to get items you can sell to the vendor, items you can put on the auction house, um, leather, uh, cloth, mining materials, um, just a whole bunch of different kind of materials you know that thing makes you grow there you can sell that on the auction house and I'm really surprised by the end of this video on uh, just what kind of gold I actually make out of this for something that's just a very simple profession it's a secondary profession it's not even something that people depend on it's very laid back to do this it's very easy so I'm gonna do an hour-long session and I'll be right back here in just a minute showing you what I got and I'll open up the boxes and we can see what we got Alright, and we're back, and I stopped at about 58 minutes here. Um, I got about 35, 36 boxes, something like that, and I wanted to wait till the end to open them up with you guys so um, you, know, you can feel the suspense that I'm actually having while opening these boxes. And I'm just going to open them one by one. And one thing I did notice when I was actually doing this is that because it is a neutral area, well, not really neutral, it's a PvP area. You're not going to run into a horde, you're going to run into alliance. You're going to run into higher levels, lower levels, whatever the case may be. A lot of them are just there for the same reason you are, and they're just fishing. So try and go at a, like a time that's not so busy. Uh, late at night when people are sleeping, when people are at work. Uh, you can see just the items I'm getting here. And I'm going to go through, and I'm going to sort them all, and I'm going to let you know um, how much each thing's worth. Um, not getting any of the pets or the mounts here. The, pe the pet that you get, I put pictures of them at the very end of this video. But you get a sea pony pet, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you can use it on land, but you get that. And you also get a sea turtle, which is really cool as well. Uh, the sea turtle, I don't, I'm, it's a mount that you can use. And I don't know if you can use it like just on land or just in the water but I always see pictures of people using it on land and in water I know there's like a TCG version uh, from the card game and it might be the same one I don't know but I haven't actually got it myself and looks like I'm not gonna get it in this hour session but you know it is a pretty low drop rate for both of those but 
you're here for the pet and you're here for the mount but you get all this extra stuff um, while trying to search for that so you know the gold that you make from this is actually pretty decent and you can see that I'm getting a bunch of ember silk you can see I'm getting a bunch of uh, pretty cool items here um, pyrite ore getting a lot of flasks and stuff a lot of potions uh, volatile stuff you know just a bunch of bunch of everything so you know give this guy give this a try as well and I'm gonna organize this stuff up real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hearth back here and look on the auction house to see what all the prices are of everything and let me just organize this now, I have organized it uh, in the the bottom left bag is the uh, bag of all the main items that I found that really caught my eye. Got the Ember Silk, uh, you know, got Cinder Blossom, got Twilight Jasmine, got Heart Blossom, Ember Silk Cloth, um, Volatiles, uh, Obsidian Ore, um, Elementium Ore, Pyrite Ore, um, sa Heavy Savage Leather, which is really nice to get that. You're not even skinning, you're getting Heavy Savage Leather, which is pretty good deal. Just kind of cycling through all the stuff so you can actually see it for yourself. And this over here is all the potions and flasks and elixirs and stuff that I found. Now one that caught my eye is the potion of treasure finding, which you don't see very often um, when fishing, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that was definitely a bonus there. And I'm going to price all this stuff up and show you in just a second. So here we go. Alright, and looking at the grand totals here, we have 20 gold and cinder blooms, we had 80 gold worth of twilight jasmine, we had 560 gold worth of ember silk cloth, we had like 7 stacks, they're selling for like 80 gold a stack on my server right now. Now these prices could be all different on every server, but this is what I came up with from doing this. 80 gold from the volatiles, all the waters and fires and earths just added together. 20 gold worth of whip tail, 60 gold worth of mining ore, which I was hoping was going to be a little bit better, but what can you expect from fishing, right? Uh, 14 gold from storm vine, 50 gold from the heart blossom, blossom, uh, 200 gold in heavy savage leather. Apparently, right now that's very expensive, actually. So, you know, getting as much as I did, 200 gold, that's pretty nice. Um, that potion of treasure finding, the market price right now is 112 gold on my server for one of those. 150 gold for the elixir of impossible accuracy, 200 gold for the miscellaneous potions, elixir, elixir slash food that you don't really see very much in the auction house usually, and for a grand total of 100, 1,546 gold. So that's 1,546 gold for one hour of fishing. Now you're there for the mount and you're there for the pet, and I put pictures of them down there for you to look at. That's what you're mainly there for, is the pet and the mount. But this is all just extra. 1,546 gold, just extra gold uh, for you to sell. And, you know, while you're on your, your quest to get this pound, uh, this uh, mount and, the, and to get this pet. Now, the pet will become BOE when uh, Miss Pandaria comes around. So you might be able to make a little bit of gold off that if you do find it. And the mount itself can be used in water um, I don't know if you can be used on land let me know down in the comments below let me know if you guys have ever found this stuff before this little map I put here I crossed out the area that you should not be going to just try and do a back and forth motion um, on that side of the island it's a lot easier now if you have something like water walking like you're a shaman or a death knight or something you can just circle the entire place and it doesn't really matter to you so you get an advantage there but I hope you liked this video, guys, and I'll see you next time.